Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Proving Grounds, which is a new game from Renegade Games and designer Kane Klenko, who's designed things like Flatline, Fuse, the new Pandemic Rapid Response, all sorts. And this is his latest real-time dice game. This is solo only though, Proving Grounds. It does come with a, a, a novella that tells you the story of Proving Grounds. The main character, Maya Strongheart, her mother, the Sun Queen, has been killed, has died under suspicious circumstances, and Maya herself is being framed for it. So to prove her innocence, fighting in the Proving Grounds, it's the way things go. So in the game, basically, we will have a timer. There is an app that I've hopefully put in the corner there, because my phone actually on the camera picked up too much glare behind the scenes. Uh, this is a static camera only, there's no handheld, and I would encourage you to turn on Klingon subtitles in case I've made any mistakes, they will pop up on the screen all nice for you. So the app up there in the corner will do loads for you. You don't 100% need it, you can use a timer and stuff, and you can just jot down how many things you've killed, because that, that's what it's keeping track of. But it's as I press training game here now for sync, so it's going to tell us all about the setup if we press all of this and everything that is in the rulebook about the setup of the game is included here. And hopefully I've done it all here. I've got my dice pool here. I've got dice on the health track. I've got an enemy card in each slot with a health tracker almost in all of the right places there. Now, I, I will mention just up front that the first edition of this game has got a fairly significant misprint in it in that every single card has got its, you know, damage tracker starting space just above the wound there that is not what it is supposed to be it's supposed to be all different here you see one's a bit higher there and there there are all different ones in the deck if you do have a copy of the game from the very first edition it's still playable it makes the game significantly harder though and if you contact renegade then at the time of filming they are offering replacement decks which is what this is here they sent me out a full replacement deck of the enemy cards so we've got the setup. It's told us all about that. We are almost ready to go. So what is going to happen is we need to try and fight all of these people. You know, at the same time, you know, these in the proving grounds here, these enemies are swarming around us, and we need to use our wits to battle them. So because it's a real-time game, I'll explain a little bit more up front before we actually get started. So what you need to do in a round is roll dice. So you'll roll your dice here and you need to make sets of numbers basically. So you'll be frantically trying to collect numbers together. That's a lot of sixes there. And each enemy has got a number that corresponds to them, their position. So this would relate to enemy six here. We can do one, two, three, four, five hits on enemy six, the queen's bodyguard here. Now five hits. To do the next stage of damage, they need three or more hits, so that would move us up. If, though, I can get another six, if I could get six sixes, then I would be able to do both and defeat that bodyguard and move on to the next enemy. If I can defeat eight enemies and I'm alive at the end of the round, then I win. So what will happen is you can re-roll as many times as you like, but you can only re-roll groups that have got more than one of the same number in it. So I could not re-roll this one because it's on its own. I could re-roll the two twos here, and now I've made two threes, so I could do those again. I'm hoping for a six or maybe a one so I could re-roll those. So now my two is stuck, but I could roll my ones, and yeah, I'm really just hoping for that six. But I have a timer ticking away, and I can't spend too long on this. So there, I've got my sixth six, but now... I've kind of locked myself in because I have a one and a five on their own. So when the time runs out, we resolve everything. And in this case, we would go around one to five. If you only have a single number, then they will attack you and their damage marker comes back down. If it reaches the wound section, you take a damage. Some other stuff happens as well, but that's the way that you can die in the game if you keep taking too many wounds and then they'll reset like that and you need to keep working on them. Some enemies have special things in, so like the Queen's Bodyguard here, green dice count as two dice each against this enemy. So you are trying to get a three on the green there to satisfy him. So if this happened, you'd probably have to forego the, it would be really nice to have all of those sixes, but you would probably want to re-roll them so that you wouldn't leave yourself taking two hits. Unfortunately, you can't split up. You know, I couldn't say, well, I really want three sixes, so I'll roll these. This is a set of six sixes, and you re-roll sets. 
Right, we're ready to start. If things seem a little bit different, I'm restarting yet again. So let's go. Ready, set, one minute, go. Okay, one dies out there already. So we have some sixes. We have some twos. So three and four are on their own, which would mean they go down. Three isn't so bad. Four is bad, though. Two would move me up on two. Four sixes. I only need three. Oh, I, need, I need some things broken up. So we've got twos, we've got five. So only three would move down, and that's not too bad. So twos, I need two dice, I would move up. Fours, I need two dice and one of them needs to be blue. Brilliant. Oh, I'm making, messing them around. That's fours I was talking about. I know, because my finger's still there. Fives, two of them. Green and yellow are ignored, though, so maybe we re-roll the fives and hope for something else. This could mess us up in a different way, though. We have two threes now. So a two going down. Oh, that, that just joins up with there and isn't too bad. Threes, two threes isn't great. But, oh, I, I should have just left it. I should have just left it. We're, we're, take, we're doing a take back. <laughs> just to show you. Because like I'll let you know as the clock runs out here. This is about the seventh time I've tried to film this playthrough. And I end abysmally. I need to defeat eight enemies to win this. The clock's I've got is about three while filming it. I've, I've won the game several times. While not talking about it. But even though I've, I've made it tripod only. I'm using both hands. There is something about filming that uh, messes me up. Anyway, let's go. So we have twos. So, twos here. Oh, let's, let's not cheat. It's a one and a five, wasn't it? So we do ones. We take a wound, unfortunately. So I'm going to be taking a wound after we've resolved all of this stuff. Twos, great. We move their battle marker. If you assign a single die to the clan L, you move down two spaces instead of one. Luckily, I assigned four. Not quite enough to move up another space, unfortunately, but I do move up one there. We have fours. So we need two, and at least one needs to be blue or green. Brilliant. And then we have a five on its own. Unfortunately, that's going to be two wounds, which we resolve now. So for each one, you move down on the health track. You need to exhaust a die. So we're going to have less and less dice to do stuff with. And then you reset their battle markers back to where they were. So we have less dice to do stuff with now. Maybe less dice for things to go wrong with. We've defeated no enemies, so we can't update that on the app. So next round. Ready, set, go. Okay, we have sixes, we have ones, we have sixes, we have a five on its own, which is bad. Three sixes is great. Two ones, it's not going to do us any good, so we hope for a five to, there we go. Oh, wow. I'm just going to stop there, because whether that's good or bad, well, it's, it's not bad, is it? It could be neutral, but I haven't got a single die against anybody, so that's hopefully going to be a good thing. So let's just uh, end the round there. So resolve, we have three fives. Green and yellow are ignored against the warrior in training, but two is still enough to move up. Sixes, we have three sixes. There are no special rules for the Queen's Bodyguard, so that's just moving up again. Oh, I should have had an extra die because at the end of the round, you retrieve all of your dice, you fill in any of these gaps, and then you get another dice. But yeah, we just have to disregard that and remember it for the future because now we do that again. We haven't got to the top of any enemy, so we haven't defeated any. We haven't taken any wounds, though, which is good. We move the exhausted dice forward again and retrieve them, and we're ready for another round. Still need to defeat eight enemies, but this is going better than usual. I've jinxed it now, though, haven't I? 59 seconds, and I'm already getting into a bit of a jam, I think. So I've got one, four, and six. One's bad. Four's not too bad. Six isn't too bad to go down. Five, I need three fives. Three twos would be good, though, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-roll the fives and hope to... Double up on some of these numbers. One, two, four, six. We've got four twos now. We're going to have to roll them, though, to break up some of this stuff. So we've got ones. We've got twos. We've got three, four, five, six here. Uh, I'm going to re-roll them. So we've got a one. We've got two fives. Oh, this is just terrible. It's just all different numbers. So we've got fours. These are in my hand because I was re-rolling them, I think. Uh, I knocked that from something. Sixes. We've got fours. One, two, two. So one is bad. Yes, one's very bad. Three isn't too bad. Two sixes isn't going to help. So let's hope that I get another four, another three. So just, just the one. I've run out of time anyway. So one. Unfortunately, I moved down and I'm going to take a wound there. Twos. Not enough, but it's not bad either. Threes. Not enough. If it was a green, that would have counted twice, but it isn't. Fours. Two dice, and one of them needs to be green. Boom. We finally got one, so we can update on the app here. One. I've defeated one enemy out of the eight I need to. 
the enemies that didn't get any dice are disregarded. I have a wound though, so I slide into this space and I can take a die from here. So I think all the colors are kind of represented a lot, aren't they? Blue or yellow, let's have another blue. So I get that, I, I replace one of my white dice with it. Uh, I need to exhaust the die that goes back there. And then I retrieve these. I reset that battle marker. This, this card goes away and we need a new enemy card, which is a Moon Queen representative. And I get all of these exhausted dice back. Oh, and this needs to advance. Okay, so I've got, I've got some dice to play with now. So let's give this a go. Next round, ready, set, proving grounds. We have some ones, we have some fours. Two and a, th two and a five are on their own. Oh, and a three. So two ones isn't gonna help, so let's reroll those and try and get something else. Got one one now. Two threes isn't gonna help. Oh, that would have helped because it was, oh, it's too late now to go back to there. We got one on its own again. Two twos isn't going to help, so let's re-roll that. There we go, we've got three ones. We've just got a five on its own, which isn't going to cause a wound, so I think stop there. Fours haven't got a blue, though, so... And they need a blue. And now I've got a four on its own, and a, and a three and a five on its own. Four ones. It's okay, that does move us up. Three sixes would defeat the enemy. Let's re-roll the ones and try and group up some of these. So we've got a load of fours now. Got one, three, and five on their own. A load of fours is good, but I, I want to break up some of these things. Oh, here we go. So we've just got a two that's bad. Oh, but two moves down two spaces. Oh, one of these was a one. Because I just saw it, I promise you. Was it? Who knows? Okay, so we're resolving again. We've got two ones. It doesn't do us any good. We've got one, two. Ah, oh, that moves us down two spaces. Ah, oh, threes. Two of those isn't enough. No fours. Fives, two of those isn't enough. Sixes, way, we have done our second enemy, but we need to take a wound again. So I'm gonna take a yellow die. And it gets reset. We're on our last health now. Need a new enemy for up here. We have the Sun Queen representative. Yellow dice count as two against the Sun Queen representative. And we need to exhaust the die, don't we? Then we bring all the exhausted dice forward. And move on to the next round. Could very well be our final round. We cannot take a wound. Go. So I have twos, threes, fives, a six and a four. Six isn't too bad. Four isn't too bad. I could stick with that. Twos would move me up. Threes would move me up. Fives would not move me up. Oh, but if I get a five on its own, which I now have, I've ruined it. What is wrong with me? I've got, a, oh, that's three twos. Oh, that would have been good to save. So we have to reroll all the twos since they're in my hand. I've still got two twos. Now I've got two fours. Five I can live with, six I can live with. Two fours isn't enough though, so we could reroll them. Green dice count as two there. Let's reroll the fours and see what we get. So we've got a six now. Another two can go in that group. Two sixes just means I'm not getting a hit. I'm only going down on the five, so that's better. I'm gonna stick with that. So the clock can run out. I am going to resolve this. So three twos, that moves us up a space. Then we have threes. We have four of those. Green count as two, so we have five, but you need seven to move up twice on the queen's bodyguard there. Uh, no fours, a five on its own. Unfortunately, that does move down. Two sixes, not enough. Yellows count twice, but that is pretty good going, I think. And I think there should be two dice on there. Now there should be one. I think I just grabbed them all together. Uh, new round, ready, set, proving grounds. So we have ones, we have twos, threes, four on its own, five on its own. That's not too bad. Five on its own is bad. So the two ones wouldn't move me off. I'm going to re-roll those. Two ones again. Uh, so we have a two and a six. We have five and a four on their own again. Three sixes, that's enough because one's yellow. Three threes, greens count as two, that's enough. Three twos, oh, that would be good as well. It's just we would take a wound and die, so we're going to have to give up on something. So let's give up on this. We have two fours now, and we have two twos there. We just have the five on its own, which is the bad one. 
Uh, two twos isn't enough, so I'm going to reroll those. Now I've got one two, which is bad because that gives me a wound. Uh, we're going to have to give up on fours. That's not going to get us anywhere. Hope to roll a two. So taking going down on four isn't as bad, so I'm going to stick with that and hope that I've come up with something decent enough. So two twos, not enough, unfortunately. Three threes, but greens count as two. I move up. Fours, move down. Two fives, brilliant. Green and yellow are ignored on the warrior in training, so I do actually move up there. And then sixes, yellow count as two, so I have one, two, three, four. Slide up, brilliant. That comes forward, and now I have access to my maximum dice. And... Okay. Haven't defeated anyone else yet, so we've got two enemies defeated, right? And we're on our last health, so next round. Ready, set, dice. Okay, we have some ones, we have twos. I'm going to try and take them out so I'd knock them less. Uh, twos, kind of defeats the point of the dice tray though, doesn't it? So I have, I have nothing on their own, I'm just going to stick, I don't care whether I'm doing something good or bad here. Well, it can't be bad, it can only be neutral, can't it? So let's end the round right away, I've just been lucky and not rolled any singles. So we will move up on the ones. I have four twos, move up there. So now even if I assign a single, I'm still not taking a wound from the clan elder. We have some threes. Three threes. Boom. Defeated. Five. Two of those is not enough. So I've defeated my third enemy. So we need a new enemy to come out. There are no exhausted dice to speak of. Another Sun Queen representative, but with no special ability there. And yeah, so that's a new round, isn't it? Ready. Set. Fights. Okay, we have threes, we have ones, we have twos. Okay, we have a six on its own, which isn't too bad. Do we stick with this? I've got four. If I had a blue one, I could move all the way up. That's not enough twos. I'm going to re-roll them. Oh, now I've got a two on its own. It isn't the end of the world. Two sixes doesn't get me anything, though, either. So I've got a three there and a five there. Four threes isn't quite enough. So five, three fives, green and yellow are ignored with fives, so let's, that would count as me rolling one. Yellow are ignored, so that's okay. Oh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. We're sticking, we're ending that round, end round, because we go to the ones. So the first stage here, two dice, one of them must be yellow, yes. Two dice, one of them must be blue, no, we didn't do that. For the twos, we have three, we've defeated the clan elder at last. For the threes, we have, oh no, we have four, but we needed a yellow. We can't move up there, but we didn't assign a single. Five, we assigned a single two, but green and yellow are ignored. So brilliant. Okay, that's, that's that then. So we, oh, we defeated the clan elder, so we can go up to four defeated enemies now. Okay, and now we have another moon queen representative, but some, some more choice on the colors we can use there. And let's go. Next round. Ready, set, dice. Okay, we have ones, a lot of ones. We have some one, two on its own. We have some fours. We have a three on its own and a six on its own. So five, not too bad. Four would be bad. Oh, four we've got two of, so don't reroll those. We've got five ones, but don't we need a blue in those? Oh, we've got a blue in there, but it's five ones on something we only need two on. Those fives aren't going to move us up either, so let's reroll those and hope to group up some of these. So the twos are now grouped up, but that wouldn't move us up there. Four, that helps out with the four. So we have three, wouldn't be too bad if we move down. Six, count as two dice. I think we stick with that. I'm going to end the round. So we have ones. I have five ones. And there is a blue in there, so we defeat the Sun Queen representative. That's five enemies. Twos. We have two, not enough. Three, we have one on its own, so we move down. Four, we have three dice, so we move up. And six, single dice, but it counts as two. Brilliant, so we don't move down. Fantastic. Okay, we have a guard there. Blue and yellow count as two each against this opponent. New round. Yeah, I feel like this is going better. We've at least got five. I think that's my record while filming. So we have threes, 
Fives. Three, five. Fours. We have a two and a one on their own, which wouldn't cause us to lose. So the fours would move up. The threes would move up and kind of need to. Fives. That would defeat the warrior in training. Yes. End the round. Straight away. Is that the first roll again? So one, unfortunately, moves down. Two, unfortunately, moves down. Threes. We have one, two, three, four of them. Brilliant. We move up. Fours. We have one, two, three, and one is blue, so we move up. Five, we have one, two, three, and that is our sixth defeated enemy. It's happening. It's happening. Nothing happened with six, so we need a new enemy. Sun Queen representative, yellow dice count as two. New round. Ready, set. Proving guys, I think it's putting the dice in the corners. That's, that's pleasing the keeper of the dice. The fours. We have twos. We just have a six on its own, which wouldn't cause us to lose. So I'm tempted to just stick. We wouldn't move up on twos or threes. We would move up. We would defeat the four. We would move up on five. Let's re-roll the twos since... But having two twos means we don't move down. I'm going to re-roll the threes. So now we have just the three on its own, which isn't a bad thing. Six, not enough to move up on. All of those fives... I'm kind of tempted to re-roll. So now we have a load more threes and a six. So brilliant, nothing on its own. Let's just stick with that while <laughs> there isn't an enemy that's unhappy with that. So twos, we have two. It's not a single. It's not three or more, so we don't move at all. Threes, we have one, two, three, four. One more and we would have defeated it, but we do go up one step. Four, we need three dice here and no restrictions. That is our seventh enemy. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, and six. Yellow dice count is two. So we've got three, so we don't, we don't move up. Okay, so we just need to defeat one more enemy. Is this real? Well, at least I'm making, I've made it through more than like three rounds of the game to show you. <laughs> Every other version of this video has been so tiny. Uh, so let's go. We've, this is potentially our final round. If we can do a damage to the Sun Queen representative there and survive, we need to survive, remember. We need threes, we've got fives, we've got threes, we've got twos, threes, fives. So, is one bad? One is bad. So we need to do some re-rolling. That wouldn't move us up on twos, so I want to re-roll those. That goes into the threes, that brings up the sixes. We need to roll a one. Two sixes is no good. We need to roll a one and stop that being on its own. So we've got ones there. At the moment, we've got two and six on their own. Two is bad. We need two sorting. Uh, we, we, can, we can afford to move down on. <sighs> We're running out of time. We've got six on its own. Two moving down is still bad. Oh, no. Come on, dice. Work with me here. We need another one, don't we? We can roll these two. Oh, there we go. We've got another one. Okay, this is kind of a muddle of numbers. So I'm not quite sure if we've pulled it off here. We've rolled another one. I think I was rolling the sets properly still. I tried to find all the twos when I re-rolled them all. I think I'd, I've, I've come up with no single dice, so I, this may well. So that doesn't go up. We need four or more. Blue and yellow counts twice, but we rolled a green. Twos. We go up one. We've got four dice. Threes we didn't roll. Fours. Oh no, we haven't rolled the right number. We had to re-roll the threes to stay in the game. Fours. Blue dice count as two, so I have two, three, four. Fortunately, I need five to go up two steps. And fives. Yellow dice count as two, so I have two, three, four dice. I needed three. Can't go up another step. So I didn't win, but would have lost if I hadn't given up my, you know, hit on the three. So, yeah, we need to be in it for another round. Ready, set, hitting. So we need fours, we've got fives, what happened there? That was a four. Fours, we've got one, we've got fives, we've got three on its own. So we've got one on its own, that's bad. Two on its own is fine. Three, two threes doesn't help us, so let's re-roll those. Now we've got a three and a four on their own. We've got three on its own, which isn't too bad. One on its own is still bad though. We've got all of these fives, and yellow count as two. Moving down on four wouldn't be too bad, we need to roll another one. So now we've got fours, twos. Need to roll another one. They're twos. 
So roll another one. Now we've got four on its own. Oh, now we need to roll a one. I'm just gonna grab these. We need a run, we need a one! That's all the fours. Well, there we go, we've got a one. We've got a one, sixes, twos are on their own. Three is on its own, is that too bad? No, that's not too bad. Five's on its own, that's okay. Okay, I think, I don't know if we're progressing here, but we are not, we're not out, I don't think. So let's start with ones. We have two ones, blue count as two, so I have three dice, that's not enough. It's the problem being on this first step, I'm not managing to progress at all on it. So I don't have any leeway. Twos, I have two of them, that's not enough. Threes, I just have a single, so we go down, that's the one that was going to win us the game. Fives, I have a single one. And it's not yellow, so I move down. Sixes? <gasps> sixes though, you beautiful sixes! That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I needed four, that is the eighth enemy. And we survived the round, we didn't take a wound. So I think, I'm sure something's gone wrong at some point, but <laughs> whether it's right or not, we got through a full game to show you. So I think that's something. Now, <laughs> while I bask in my pseudo victory, I am going to turn you over to past me that had just lost about three rounds into the game yet again, uh, to tell you about the various modules that come with the game that allow you to add to it and change things up or give you a bit of help and stuff. So take it away past me. The game does come with a lot of modules though to alter your game experience. And so let's just quickly go through those now because I imagine this is quite a short video. I don't think I got through very many rounds of this. Uh, so first of all, we have the Dragon Link, which adds the Dragon Link dice to your pool here. And if you roll, you'll see the symbols in the corner of these cards here, the kind of uh, the teeth, the claw, the tail. If you roll those, you can use them as damage for an enemy of that type. So if you rolled the claw, you could use it against the Sun Queen representative, for example. It doesn't count for any kind of color restrictions. If you roll a wing on it, you can prevent a battle marker from moving down on a particular enemy that's you know, really, really handy to have. The chaos result, unfortunately, means that all colored dice have to immediately be re-rolled. So there is an element of risk in re-rolling this one a lot. There is the chariot module, which includes all of these chariot cards. You will reveal a new one each round, and you see it's got a dice on there. If you can place the dice that it asks for on there, it might ask for, you know, equal ones of a particular number there, you know, the same number, two dice, then you will prevent whatever it says. Otherwise, you will you know, reveal an extra chariot card next round or ignore all fours this round and move the battle marker down one space on enemy four. So these can be, you know, not too much to worry about or could be you know, the, the thing that finishes you off if you don't get them sorted out. It also all has to be done while the timer is still running. Module three is inspiration. This is a helpful module. There are 15 inspiration cards. They correspond to certain modules. So if you're not playing with, say, the Dragonling module, you need to remove those cards but you will shuffle the available ones and take a power and they will give you an ability throughout the game. So once per round while rolling dice, you may reroll all colored dice regardless of what sets they are part of. So it can give you a bit of a different flavor for the game as well. The, the chaos result of the Dragonling die can be rerolled by itself. You know, there's, uh, there are some things in there that can help you out a lot. Module four is shields. Now, when you attack an enemy, but you don't have the correct combination. So let's say I, I was trying to attack this, uh, this three here and I had a couple more threes. So I've got three threes, but it needed to have a blue in there. If I haven't done the correct combination to you know, score a hit against an enemy, it gets a shield for next time. And if I attack it with a set, as I would normally want to, the battle marker moves down because it's shielded. But if I attack it with a single that would normally be bad for me, then it gets rid of the shield. So in the future, I can start attacking again. So while it's got a shield, it's you know, what you want to do with it is reversed. Module five is Conspirators. There are six Conspirator cards. Every time you defeat an enemy, you will have this deck shuffled and you will reveal a Conspirator card. At the start of each round, before you start rolling your dice, you roll one die. And if it rolls a number of a revealed conspirator, its power is in effect for this round. So, for example, Tia Strongheart's power here would mean one set of your choice becomes a single this round. You might want to do that, but uh, more often than not, you're not going to want to do that. And so it's another thing that can throw a spanner in the works. 
Module six is Sun and Moon, and this has to do with uh, with where you are facing in the battle. So at the start, remember we had the the blue, green, and yellow stacked on this space, ready to take an extra die. Well. We have this overlay that goes over the center of the board now, and they start out on these three spaces instead. So at the start of each round, you will rotate this to face an enemy. You know, the sun and the moon will be facing an enemy each. You have to move it each round. You can't just keep it on the same thing. For the sun side, if you manage to score a hit on the enemy in the sun position, so it would be the clan elder in this case, you can take one of these colored dice and put it into your pool. If you didn't score a hit, though, nothing happens. If you score a hit on the enemy that's in the moon position, which would be this warrior in training, nothing happens. But if you didn't score a hit, it moves down. Even if, you know, you hadn't done any dice on it, it would still move down because you've put it in the moon position. So that's an extra thing to influence your decision of which dice to use. So that's Proving Grounds. I hope that gave you some idea of uh, what the game is like and all of the different stuff that's included. You can mix and match those modules any way that you like. Uh, hopefully you do a lot better than me. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on. This is the easier deck too, not the you know the difficult original deck. But anyway, there's hundreds more playthroughs on the channel if you'd like to check them out. I can only do playthroughs thanks to the patrons that support the channel. It's patreon.com slash slickerdrips if you would like to help out yourself and get involved with the channel. Thank you very much for watching though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone. <laughs>